We've brought out some small caliber rifles that we're going to do some uh, small bird and rabbit hunting with today. And we just want to see if we can hit any of them. Just kidding. What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Gun Meister. For today's episode, we're going to check some stuff out. As you can see, we've got a bunch of different rifles here. These are basically hunting rifles. And what we thought we would do today is kind of check out the different rounds that go with each one of these guns on a big ass piece of pork butt and kind of see the difference, you know? Because you hear a lot of things. You hear, well, the 5.56 isn't a good hunting round for game that's bigger than say a rabbit or a coyote or something like that. And then you hear stuff like, well, you know, the seven millimeter is too big for this or whatever. So we've got five different guns here and they range in caliber from 5.56, 3030, 308, 30 out six and seven millimeter Remington Magnum. And what I figure we do is we kind of just set that up and we'll check out the penetration, what kind of damage it does to the meat. We're also gonna check the hydraulic pressure of each one of these rounds and kind of get a feel for what they do. And maybe, you know, if you're getting ready to get into hunting or you've always wondered, you know, what does this do to something more than like a water jug or a watermelon to an actual piece of meat that has fat, muscle, bone, all of that stuff inside there. I'm thinking today's video might answer that question for you. So we're going to see what kind of penetration and damage that does. We're also going to test some of the hydraulic pressure that these rounds put out when they hit their target at 100 yards. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun today. We definitely have quite a few guns to try. I think it's gonna be interesting. Come on, let's go check it out. So here's what we're gonna be shooting at today. This is a pork butt. It's about, I don't know, nine, 10 pounds, something like that. It's got a big bone that runs the length. And I wanna to try to shoot through these from front to back as best as I can. That way we can see what the bullet does as it travels through, if it expands or what have you. Also, we've wrapped these, each one of these with cellophane, plastic wrap to kind of simulate skin. So we've done like three or four wraps of that stuff around there. And we're just gonna lay into them, see what it does. Also, if you look downrange right there, you're gonna see a water jug. That's a one gallon water jug. And we're gonna hit it with each round respectively to see what it does. So first one we'll start with the 5.56 and it'll go like this. We'll shoot the water jug, then we'll shoot the meat. We're gonna test the hydraulic pressure of the round on the water jug and the actual penetration, the hunting part of it, if you will on this meat and see what it does. So let's go ahead and head back to 100 yards and see what we see, come on. So what we're gonna be shooting, this is we're gonna start off with the TC Compass. This is chambered in 5.56 and 223. And for this one, we're gonna be shooting the Fiocchi 223. And this is a 77 grain match hollow point boat tail. So we'll go ahead and start with the water jug, see what that does. Then we'll hit that chunk of meat, see what that does. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, we got some good hits on those. Let's go see what that 223 did, come on. You know, the 556 or the, the 223, let's put it that way, that particular round, the 77 grain, yeah, that's a very valid hunting round, no doubt about it. Uh, there's a lot of damage to that, so that's a keeper. That's a good one. You even got some entrails hanging here. So that's awesome. Let's do this. We see what kind of damage this is. We're gonna save this one aside. And let's go back up there and let's try the 3030 and see what that one does. Come on. So for our next gun, we're going to be using the Marlin 3030. And for the ammunition, we're using Remington 3030, 150 grain core lock. So let's go ahead and take our shots down here and see what this does. Now I have to tell you, the 3030 is probably one of my favorite rounds. Um, one thing I like about the 3030 is it has an absolute ton of hydraulic pressure. 
and you know it when you hit something. Let's give this a try. All right, so there goes the water jug. Let's go ahead and hit that pork butt. Let's see what this does. May have hit a little low on that, but nonetheless, we still hit it. And the thing is, sometimes when you're hunting, it's not always exactly where you want it to be. So let's go see what kind of damage that did. All right, guys, so this is the 3030. This is your entry. Now look at the look at the exit on this thing, man. Look at that. That is massive. Massive damage. I mean, if that doesn't drop what you're shooting at, I'm not really sure what would. So we moved up to 308. Unfortunately for this stuff, I've just got 150 grain bulk, but I think you'll get the idea because we're gonna shoot this with just the bulk ammo and you'll see what kind of damage the 308 does just with this. And you know, if you're gonna move up to a hunting ground, it's just gonna be that much more effective. All right, there goes the water jug. Let's go ahead and hit the beef. Where's the beef? Yeah. Looks like we just grazed it. Should I hit it again? Yeah. All right, so I just grazed, hold on. All right, so I just grazed that beef. I'm gonna hit it one more time, see if I can get it centered up. If I'm gonna hit a different spot, we should see two, hopefully we'll see two wound channels. There we go. Matter of fact, I think I hit the same damn spot. That's all right. So, you know, from first look at this, it may not look like much, but the thing is with this, let me pull this off of here. I want you to see this. When the 308 hits this thing, look at that. Look at the wound channel in that. That's unbelievable. And again, the thing is with that, is that was just bulk ammunition, guys. That wasn't like a hollow point, boat tail, or anything like that, just bulk ammunition. These bones busted to pieces. Huge, huge wound channel. You've actually got two wound channels. You got one on this side and one over here. So that 308 is, is a nasty round. And you can see where they went in. That's the first one right there. And that's the second one. Right there, see that? For our next gun, we're gonna be shooting the uh, Ruger American 30-06. And for this, we're gonna be using 180 grain PowerPoint 30-06 uh, rounds. Now this is the Winchester. Um, this is Winchester's round. They recommend for deer, elks, wild boar, etc. Uh, you can get, the one thing that's nice about a 30-06 is they have all kinds of different uh, round sizes as far as all that goes. So we'll just load up a couple in here and uh, do our little test with this. All right, there's the water bottle. Let's see what we can do to the meat pie. I think we hit the meat. Let's go see what that did. Went in right there. I couldn't orientate this at all because it's just a massive mound of goo, basically. I mean, you got some meat there and look at that. Just completely opened up. It just rode right down that bone. That's pretty impressive, guys. That's massive. 30 out six, 180 grains. That'll leave a mark. All right, let's sit back up and try the seven millimeter Remington Magnum. Come on. All right, guys, so now we got the seven millimeter uh, Remington model 770 out here. We're shooting seven millimeter Remington mag, 150 grain. This is a really fast round. And again, this is Winchester Super X deer antelope, antelope, wild wild boar. So we'll do like we have been doing. Um, I really like the seven mil because it's so fast and it's a, it's a really flat shooter. It's, it's one of my favorites, you know? So let's go ahead, we'll do the same thing. We'll do the water jug and then we'll hit the, the meat pie and see what the seven mil does to it. Here we go. 
Wow. Okay. Let me tell you, just from this distance, with the uh, the water cartridge there, or the water jug, what a difference, man. What a difference. Let's hit that meat. I'm pretty sure what's going to happen is it's going to turn into just like meat goo. But let's find out. Well, that was a clean hit on it. Definitely, definitely dropped the pork butt. Let's go see what it did. Out of all the rounds, the seven mil seems to have caused the most damage. I mean, I have a, well, this looks like it's ready for the barbecue, but I mean, separated from the big stuff. Again, look at this. This is a huge hole, <laughs> little shell stuck in there. Let's get that out. Nope, there's another one. But huge hole in and out bone busted i mean this is these are devastating rounds i mean once you get up to don't get me wrong they're all devastating rounds but once you start getting up to like 30 out six seven millimeter remington magnum i mean big game stands no chance with this stuff that's that's just complete and utter destruction so with that being said i think any one of those rounds is a valid hunting round i think the biggest thing is it depends on what you're hunting you know, obviously, if you use a big round like this on a small game, it's probably not going to be much left, you know. But in a pinch, I think any one of those rounds will suffice for what you need to do. Again, shot placement being key. After we've done our highly scientific experiment to see what kind of penetration we get in all this meat, we've got to get rid of it somehow. So we've made a meat sculpture, a little bit of something in there, something special. We'll see if we can't season the woods with Gunmeister seasoning, which is basically this everywhere. It'd be fantastic. So we've come to that special moment in all the Gunmeister videos. Time for the FSU. After our highly scientific test today, it's time for the meat pie extravaganza. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's raining meat that's my kind of barbecue i love it well guys that's gonna do it for this episode of the gunmeister i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to like share and subscribe go on over and check out gunmeistergear.com and as always happy shooting we'll see you guys next time on the gunmeister you're not doing that around me again holy shit.